Did you know that one in two men and one in three women will receive a cancer diagnosis in their lifetime? Mm, the odds are terrifying, but there is a special hospital and research facility that is giving cancer patients healing and new hope. And it was founded by the grandfather of our own Abby Huntsman, co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend. And she joins us live here on the Curvy Couch. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, it was about 22 years ago that my grandpa started this hospital. He said, if I ever make it in life, I'm going to give everything I can back to find a cure. His mother died of cancer. He's had it five different times. Mm. And that is just what he did. So I went back home to Salt Lake City. I met up with my grandpa and saw all the incredible things he's doing. Take a look at this. All of us. I'm sure I've been touched in some way or another by cancer. We dedicate this facility to the healing and overcoming of this frightening disease. Thanks to this magnificent new facility, we will double the size of our cancer research program at Huntsman Cancer Institute. I hope I inherited my dad's heart. You see, he turns 80 today with a heart that just keeps giving. Be able to end this disease once and for all. And in this spirit, and in this cause, and as a birthday gift from me to you, our family and the Huntsman Cancer Foundation hereby donates another $120 million to this cause. Thank you very much. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! So when did you first decide that you wanted to give everything you had to cancer? I decided when my mother died in my arms in 1968. I thought if ever I could succeed in any way, I would like to do something for her and cancer. And I had it four times. After the second time, I said, I'm in, I'm in. this is the end of this stuff. It's got to come to an end. And so in 1993, we began this facility. These are the heroes of our lives, these cancer patients. You know, they don't complain. They're taking chemotherapy or surgery or radiation and... Uh, I think someone wants to say hello to you. I was diagnosed with incurable multiple myeloma in December of 2014. I found my way to your uh, unit and I've just completed a bone marrow transplant. Excellent. God bless you for this facility, Thank sir. Thank you. Now we're going into yeah, this the chemotherapy. chemotherapy. This is the largest chemotherapy center in America. Holds 108 wow. when we get fully staffed. And it's, I want them all to have a beautiful view. Look at this. You're so service. right. I've never been in here before. You're doing okay? Yes, doing good. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for taking care of these wonderful people for us. Tell me, what kind of cancer do you have? I have melanoma. Oh, do you? Since last September. Uh -huh. I've had two brain surgeries and eight tumors removed. Eight tumors? <laughs> yes. You look great to me. Thank you. It's a beautiful thing to come up here. Thank you. And feel like in some way the Lord has placed this here Thank by you. blessing you. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Abby. I'm there. And Roberta. Roberta? Yeah. Roberta. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Roberta. Hi there. How Thank long you. have you had the disease? I found out last year, last January. How's, how are you progressing? Pretty good. Good. I just am so honored to meet you. I'm honored to meet you. And and oh, sit down. No, if I want to hug. <laughs> How Thank are you, Thank you for all you do. I really appreciate it. No, it's sweet of you to let us see you. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your situation. Um, I am a stage four melanoma patient. Yes. And I've been, I've had melanoma for eight and a half years. And so. Where is your melanoma located? I started with a mole on my forehead, yeah. and now it's in my brain, lungs, liver, spleen, uh, bones, and my neck. So it's a it's a fighting cancer. When I walked in, the first thing I saw was your smile. Oh, I mean, you just yeah. are, you can tell a happy person. Yeah, a I try every day. You just gotta figure the best out of the worst. So. What a great attitude. Great advice. Well, yeah. nice to meet you. Thank well, you. It's an honor to meet you. My, dad, uh, my dad would say thank you as well. So. You know, our love to you. Thank you so much for this wonderful facility. When I found out that the research could genetically target Isn't that something? the chemotherapy to the tumor, tumor itself, yeah. I was just um, amazed. Yeah. To see away. that type of research. I just know we're very lucky to be able to be in yeah. here right now. Very, very and love you very all very blessed much. And it started with you.
Abby, that's, what that's a remarkable a rea- man. That's a reality show I'd love to see. I mean, I mean, would you just kind of walk through, you gave us a slice of that. It really puts life in perspective. i got to say, a lot of those people, they're, they know they're not going to make it, but they have these huge smiles on their faces, and they have hope to live one more day. Sure. It, it's incredible, these people. It really makes you, it inspires you. It inspires yeah. you to want to keep living. It'd a be lot of that is because of your grandfather. I mean, he took God's blessings, because I know he's very successful, took his blessings, and he's blessing other people, started a whole camp. Sir. And awesome. when you hear his story, five times survivor, that's incredible so because true. it gives people hope that have cancer for a second or a third time. And it shows what individuals can do to make a difference, not Absolutely. the government, what individuals can do. Yeah. So we are going to do a whole piece on uh, Fox and Friends Weekend on Saturday about the research because they're doing incredible things working with elephants who don't get cancer, by the way, to find ways to help cure certain types of cancer. And that's his goal, to cure cancer. His goal. And just to show you what a legend he is in Salt Lake City, did you folks notice? Did you notice who was singing Happy Birthday to Grandpa? That was the the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. That's what that's what brought tears to his eyes. If you've ever heard the Mormon Tabernacle Choir sing yeah. live, I mean, it is it'll give you chills. And if you if you love eggs and you get an egg carton, <laughs> he developed the egg carton or the thing the Whopper the comes in, the, the, the Big Mac, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the awesome. Big Mac from McDonald's. So thank you to my grandpa and for all those wonderful people out there that are strong and living for the next day. Wow. Indeed. So we'll have more this weekend. So tune in on so Saturday. Thank, thank you, Abby. Great job, guys. Oh, no wonder you're so sweet. He's rubbed <laughs> off on you. That's great.